tonight that may not have worked uh, the last time? Yeah, I think uh, one, he had a bad bad game, so I think he was going to make sure that he didn't have two against us. He was aggressive uh, from the start, um, it, and so he's a great player. Um, we talked about that before the game. Um, shooting the three, getting to the free throw line, um, when you, you shoot 18 free throws, that's going to help you get to 40. Um, so he was aggressive tonight. you got to give him credit. Thanks. Thanks. Ryan, your takeaways there? Yeah, I think there's value in the people that weren't in here watching everybody else play competitively and aggressively and with physicality and effort to show that when, we, when we're all healthy, everybody else is doing their part. And when your reinforcements come in, frankly, your two best players, then this is a game you would win. And sometimes, and you saw it even last night in that game, in the first quarter, you know, Luca's having these 24, 20 point first quarters, he's doing everything. And you can have a tendency to say, hey, He's the guy, I can just do my one little thing here. But when he's gone, everybody else has to up, you have to up your game. You have to move that ball. You have to hit the right screens. And that's, that, they want that kind of play to carry over when Luke and Kyrie are in the game, which can hopefully be as soon as the next game. And then everything plays better because Luke and Kyrie are in there and everybody's playing as if they aren't in there. They're playing hard and they're playing physical. So again, Silver linings out of a loss, mm -hmm. but I think there's some positives to take out of it. Yes, it, no moral victories. Nobody wants those kind of things. But at this point in the season, when you can do these sort of fact-finding missions and come away with things that will help you down the road, experience down the road, for example, Derek Lively II, who has uh, been in the midst of two of the toughest matchups he will face at his position, and they come on back-to-back -back nights. Uh, we saw just how good Jared Allen was last night at literally every aspect of the game and of his position. And then tonight he goes up against uh, a three-time defensive player of the year in Rudy Gobert. Uh, this was never going to be easy. And uh, no, the, the, you know, the stats and what came out of this is not what Derek Lively would have wanted. But Lively. And so it's kind of unfair when he does have a couple of bad games you're right there's no reason to panic because we've already kind of crowned him an all-star I mean I've said it publicly he's a third most important player on this team and he is but he's also 30 games into his pro career and when you're playing a veteran who is the best defensive big man and a multi-time defensive mm -hmm. player of the year in Rudy Gobert and he takes away the best thing that you're good at which is that pick and roll lob threat uh, you know it's gonna be hard for you offensively and it's going to be hard for you defensively because of what he can do on that end and he can get you in the air and cause your fouls and foul trouble just with something lively struggled with again today that's going to be as big as you biggest issue going forward but the good news is he's a hard worker he's going to get in the lab with Tyson Chandler he's going to watch the film he's got a high basketball IQ and he's going to learn from these things as you say for the long-term benefit and he didn't have Luca here the the pick and roll maestro right. who knows just how to find him at the rim to get him going on the offensive end and, and we know he's a guy who who will do the dirty work for you and, and it, tonight that needed to be on the rebound rebounding side on the glass the foul trouble uh, seemed to frustrate him uh, learning how to play against certain players is going to be a, a big part of the process for him and uh, you know there he's only going to continue to get better and these are those kind of moments to build from yeah this is your center of the future and he's he's absolutely essential on both ends of the floor you're going to have games like this, but the good news is other players step up, and frankly, Dwight Powell stepped up mm -hmm. in his absence, having, frankly, the best game I think he may have ever